Hello, it's Martin Lewis of MoneySavingExpert.com here just to give you a quick summary of the consumer angles on the Chancellor's summer statement. Now, what he mainly talked about were jobs and schemes for employers to help people be recruited. And I'll leave others to focus on that. I'm going to stick with the prime consumer finance things that we heard about. And there are four main things I would focus on today. The first is stamp duty. We heard that in England and Northern Ireland, stamp duty will not be paid until the end of March 2021 on homes worth up to £500,000. That's a huge change. Previously, it was stamp duty you started paying at £125,000 unless you were a first time buyer. So for someone buying a £500,000 house, that's fifteen grand less that you pay. Now, I've also just been looking at the numbers and I don't have this confirmed. And again, I'm doing this straight after the statement. So you have to give me some wriggle room. I'm doing my best, but I'm just waiting for confirmation on quite a few things. I'll go with what I think the situation is, though. It looks like what will happen is if you're buying a house, you won't pay stamp duty if it costs under £500,000. For the next 425 grand, which is up to £925,000, you pay 5% on that amount. For amounts above that, for, so from 925 grand up to 1.5 million, it's 10%. And from any amount above 1.5 million, you pay 12%. So what that means is if you're buying a house worth £600,000, which is 100 grand above the £500,000 limit, the rate then is 5%. 5% of 100 grand is £5,000. You pay £5,000 not the £20,000 that you would have done before. And that's happened immediately. Also, generally, many people have been asking me, when does that come into play? Well, usually stamp duty crystallises on completion. So if you've exchanged and not completed, you should get the new rate. Again, I need to double check a little bit of wriggle room there, but I think that's right. And it looks like there's been no change for the stamp duty on second home. So there's still that 3% surcharge on all amounts if you're buying a second home. So... Um, you'll you'll get rid of this, the stamp duty under 500 grand, but you'll still pay the 3% on top um, as a second home. And let me explain that again to make sure that's right. So if you're buying a second home worth £400,000, you'll just pay the 3%. OK, so the next thing we heard, Chancellor stealing some of my clothes on this one, the bog off Chancellor, I'm calling him, because um, he's made this announcement that if you go to a restaurant between Monday and Wednesday in August, then up to £10 per person will be supplied by the government for a 50% off to try and encourage people to go to restaurants. Um, So that was a nice little gimmick at the end, trying to get people back to restaurants and encourage people to go back out again. Worth noting, Monday to Wednesday is the day usually when restaurant vouchers are given by restaurants anyway. Some some of them go on a bit longer, but Monday and Wednesdays are the core ones because they're not busy. And normally we see restaurant vouchers, especially on things, foods which are low cost but high perceived value, like pizzas or pastas. It doesn't cost much to make, but we're willing to spend to buy them. So 50% off tends to be a bit easier. Now, of course, you'll probably still get the 50% off on that and all other restaurants, um, but the government will be paying. So it's a, a, a sock to the restaurant industry and a way to get people to go back into restaurants. The next thing that was much pegged yesterday are these new energy efficiency grants where the government will cover up to two thirds of the cost of an energy efficiency grant. Um, so this could be insulation or double glazing or something of that ilk. I'm going to just turn the beeper off on my computer as emails are coming in. Lots of statement emails coming on the back. Shush. So um, it could be insulation. It could be double glazing uh, and all that type of thing. And up to five thousand pounds Grants are available for up to two thirds of the cost from September. We still don't have the minutiae of those details, but certainly if you're looking to do that type of change on your house, you may as well want wait now. Uh, for those on lower incomes, the full cost will be paid. Now, that, this scheme reminds me of the Green Deal, which was a scheme, oh, what was it, five, six years ago, part of the coalition. Uh, that was worked on a rather cumbersome loan system. It helped people get the money, but it had, was underneath it was a loan system. So I'm glad they've got rid of the loan system. But it is a new green deal, effectively. If you want to upgrade your house, uh, then you'll be able to do it as long as it's energy efficiency measures with a grant from the government. Which, of course, the, the reason for doing that is both to stimulate the economy and help individuals, but also to try and improve the general housing stock of the UK's homes. And then the final one I'll point out, and it's slightly breaking my rule about just talking consumer finance, 
is the new furlough job retention scheme. So anyone who has been on furlough, if the company keeps you on board in a job paying, I think it's £525 a month or more, so 25 hours work, uh, minimum wage type thing, then the government will give the firm a grant in January to, uh, of £1,000 to try and help with the, to try and make sure that people who are on furlough and coming off it stay in jobs to incentivise employers to do so. Um, so many people I know are on furlough, maybe back part time at the moment and will be watching this. So there's a bit of stimulus for your employer to uh, keep you on afterwards. Of course, as part of that, he did say furlough gone in October. There will be no extension. So this is the scheme that's replacing it. And there were many other job schemes and job announcements out there. I will leave people who, for whom that's their expertise to comment to you on whether that will work for businesses or not. My stuff's the consumer finance. I hope this helps. Uh, stay in touch with me on Twitter and on Facebook. And of course, most importantly, all the detail will go in the MSE news section on Money Saving Expert for updates. And again, remember, this is an instant reaction, just chatting you through, having just heard it myself. So I haven't managed to fine check all the details I'm saying to you yet. That's my interpretation of what I've heard. And if stuff does change afterwards, I do apologise. But I think most of it's probably pretty right. Bye bye.